तो आज के हमरा खेल वो हीट मैन है पार्ट फाइव की खेल वो हीट मैन है पार्ट फाइव तो चलो शुरू करा जाक विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले तो आप तो तो हिटमैन वन हिटमैन टू हिटमैन थ्री सभी खेला होलो बेस्ट की इन तो हिटमैन थ्री एर जे मने स्टोरी टा जब अबे मने एगो चे अर्की ओसा था रो मने शे एक टा ओल्ड हिटमैन एर फीलिंग दी चे सब किचु एक्सप्लोर करते हो अबे तार पौड़ी सब किचु आने लगा अबे रोम एक टा बेबा ती टा बेस भाव लग habits I found something Buenos Aires International Airport this morning Now watch this Harold Trail ends at the airport but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No. You won't. Hmm. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. 
I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Hmm. So, we have a constant hobby. We have a lot of people who are in the middle of the day. We have a lot of people who are in the middle of the day. We have a lot of people who are in the middle of the day. We have a lot New York-based law firm Morgan, Yates & Cohn has been among the most successful and the most controversial companies in the United States. Founded in the greed is good downtown era of the mid-1980s by Kenneth Morgan, Don Yates, and Theodore Cohn, the firm quickly amassed an impressive client roster. Counting such corporate behemoths as top investment bank Milton Fitzpatrick and Van Orton Tobacco. A reputation for ruthlessness and dirty tactics, no doubt originating with the notorious affluenza defense of murderous socialite Chelsea Whitmore, has long stuck to their name. But despite the persistent outrage of progressives, the firm has enjoyed a seemingly never-ending streak of successes and legal triumphs. This, however, may be changing. Just a few months ago, senior partner Ken Morgan passed away unexpectedly at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok. And now, another of the founding partners, Don Archibald Yates, in front of whose Argentinian vineyard I am currently standing, has announced his retirement from the firm. And so, the burning question in the upper echelons of corporate America is this. Has Morgan Yates and Cohn finally run out of Mr. Yates? It's Aaron, sir, fr from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the files. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Clearance to pass. You don't have it, amigo. So go away. It's like you've got bodyguards from far around the world. I've never oh seen Oh my like lord, is that a Gira Cuckoo? I... I've been one of the few in a while. Oh, Gretchen will be so jealous. Senor, you are not allowed to pass. Something in that you didn't understand. Your invitation, please. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates. May I see your invitation? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party.
Esta maravidad. The damnedest thing, for the to be sure. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther? Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on. Let's see what she does. And Luther, redeploy the birds and key in on the party area. We spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a rare privilege. You and Don Yates must be very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. Ah, Miss Birdwood? Mr. Yates said you'd be dropping by. Are you ready for the grand tour? Who else will be attending? Let me check. Just yourself, Miss B Dal and a Mr. Hey, Cornwall hey, Black. Hey, an employee of Mr. Yates from the New York office. He hasn't checked in with us yet. Would you like us to... Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Well... Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sick. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates' own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. It's mental. Mr. Yates. Yeah. You aren't telling me what I'm... A couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. Stand by. So you're not sure? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50 50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who would check? But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this fool guy? I'm more of a beer man myself, but Gates wants to bring the heralds closer together and play those. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post truth Edwards always was. I like it. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I'd say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Burnwood? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki, Cassidy, probably Bronson. How does she fit to be a herald? But on the other hand, people defect all the time, and she's the most certainly qualified. True. The Constant knows what he's doing.
তো আমি করব হয়ে গেছি এবার বলছে কথা বলতে হতে ঠিক আছে দেখো রিসেপশনটা নিচে and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate from Kent. Run one of our interrogation black sites. in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with yeah. the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. Mm. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive intuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Johannesburg. Yes. Come yes, back. it was. All the big players What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot do your lawyer like that. You want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? <laughs> three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife.
Siempre si no tiene la menor idea de lo que está hablando para hacer la bandeja, la bandeja no se hace así. Entonces le sacó que se, que se le pone salada, que se le pone un montón de. de ¿Qué fue lo que dijo él? Que se le ponía. Ay, yo creo que. Ay, qué la tontería que estaba diciendo. No sé, está. No tiene la menor idea. Le faltaron los frijoles, le faltó el arroz, le faltó todo. ¿Quién sabe lo que está diciendo? Aru está Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Now, let's see. People like that are in any one of the inky black color. Oh, you're saying I could lift them up. Quieres una menta? Porque la necesitas. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. Finally. Sweet, flavorful, must that is. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are right for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. Hello, Hello partner. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. What's up, yo? So, how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. 
Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts mm -hmm. the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this? It is dead. Who are you? Talking to you, Senor. Go ahead, be an asshole. What can you tell me about this device? Oh, crap. Crap. using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move... I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Grape presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. You might think you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. So, this is what the little guy... You there! Excuse me! Using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we... I have a question. It's perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. What can you tell Lead me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. You might think you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome? Fine. Wait. What are you trying to hide from, senor? May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. So, 
this is what the little guy feels like. No, all good. Looks like one for the mantle. Anything else you wish to know? There's really no trouble. I got all I need. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? Oh, it's all very inspiring. One making is a grand pursuit. Sure, sure. Everyone talks about craft beer these days. You can make this an IPA in your pantry. It is pedestrian. No, this is my friends. This is true grandeur. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. <laughs> This is what the little guy feels like. No, all good. Looks like one for the man. Oh. Ah. What happened to Molly? Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. <laughs> So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. What? Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retire to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates Inspector forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop. Barrow. Ah! Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates. Pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, mm -hmm. reminds me, we're about to have a little Herald get-together up in the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief.
Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Expected already. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. Hello, sir. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. You have to look it up. Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. The meeting in the roots. Suspect it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. Now, the temperature and the barrel room will be supported by the ventilation system. Steady. Sweet. How do you I'm a bit of a grease monkey in my spare time. My air is The control terminal is up in the security room. Just One of the guards placed a small VLT sandwich in the ventilation The whole facility is going to be for a week, and Mrs. Yates is a vegan. He does not work here anymore. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, 
কাছে যাব কি করে It is action irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Gates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. I am sorry, Padre. Say, what if we exchange the labels? Served him a different wine. Ah, you are devious, Santino. But, no. if Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. How did he even get his hands on a bottle? I hear the last of the 45s were sold to Sheik Omar Al Ghazali for $600,000. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a curious story. See, that bottle you refer to from a case of 12, which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle hmm. shipping container hmm. that went down in the South China Sea during the final days of the Middle East. Of those 12, only five were raised in the town. Al-Ghazali bought one under great media coverage, while the others simply disappeared.
quietly obtained. By some clandestine private collector. Until one... I'm not kidding! No! Banjo, that's a big and it's a dandy take. By some clandestine private collector. Until one of the bottles was donated to Mr. Yates by Byron Washington, CEO of the Pax Motors Foundation, as a reward for winning a court case. Now, Byron's twin daughters were treasure hunters, so that explains how he managed to get first pick. Ah, but you see, I was here when the bottle arrived, and the crate it arrived in bore a curious logo. Something called the Ark Society. Hey, hey, we need some help here. Please get some help. Motors Foundation as a reward for winning a court case. Now, Byron's twin daughters were treasure hunters, so that explains how he managed to get first pick. Now, but you see, I was here when the bottle arrived, and the crate it arrived in bore a curious logo, something called the Ark Society. Intriguing. Do you know what it means? Well, not a clue. And now, We'll never know. Don't get attached, Santino. For all fine things in life are transient. Until one of the bottles was donated to Mr. Yates by Byron Washington, CEO of the Pax Mundus Foundation. Uh, who are you? I'm not sure I know you. Byron Washington, CEO of the Pax Mundus Foundation, as a reward for winning a court case. Now, Byron's twin daughters were treasure hunters, so that explains how he managed to get first pick. Ah, but you see, I was here when the bottle arrived, and the crate it arrived in bore a curious logo, something called the Ark Society. Intriguing. Do you know what it means? Well, not a clue. And now, we will never know. Don't get attached, Santino. For all fine things in life are transient.
what the hell that was. Entendido. World War II के last date बोले चुके हैं। हमारे तो तो मुने नहीं। हम यहाँ पर Google सर्च में नहीं। World War II के last date कब है चुके हैं? Hey, flowers! Over here, come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be... Baker. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Mm, let's go. Go 
on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. I need to search you if you want to pass. I'm gonna need to pat you down. I better not find something on you. You don't wanna know what's gonna happen if I do. Okay, man. Vamos. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our residence. Amelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. <laughs> This is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, the proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, wine super concentrated. Thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. When the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, absolutely. Right. absolutely. Perhaps absolutely. Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. And following this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Don. What? what you You're lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. 
I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I agree. Yes. I'm in. Yes. yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. How are you? We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnley died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all remember, Flowers. You never saw a thing. Oh, you got me away. Oh, not hey. thing. You're not allowed to be in here, okay? Hey, you! Are you deaf? Follow me. Deaf? Hey, hey, no! No, no, that's not for me. All right, you got me. Hmm. Then the one who got it. Go ahead. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. And thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society and acknowledged hello, hello. by firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder of poverty. Traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives. Dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, can warn. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. No mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now does that seem right? Oh, shit. No! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Mission story missed, boy. Just to. Hello. Hello, what the hell? And clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake. This woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like 
Loyalty? He's got a point. Yes. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. And following this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. Gotta what the hell? What You're lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You can't be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I'm yes. In. I agree. Yes. yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue. Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. Yes. 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 A toast then, in her honor. Savor the taste, because you never will again. And let me remind you, we are in this together. One goes down, we all go down. Here's to loyalty. To loyalty. Valentina, it worked. Yes, they all back my plan, your plan. Cortazar will dispose of Burnwood, and Corvo is staging the crime scene, with all the heralds backing my story. Edwards will have no reason for doubt. As always, I owe it all to you, my love. Looks like a beautiful day after all. Yes. Yeah, hey. It's Yates. Listen, I can't be absolutely sure, but I saw something. तो खाने की जो नहीं यहाँ के पालो ही कोत्ता आप लोग के Agent 47, revenge for her changing sides. Looking fine today, sir. Remember, flowers. You never saw a thing. Not a damn thing. A toast then, in her honor. Savor the taste.
told the guy, yeah. He's messing with you, man. I'm a bad mama jam. That's what I said to the guy. No, you know what? Yeah. <coughs> Baron said it up. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot of this. Sit down. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. यो माता जा गरम है डीएट पूरा एक बारे तो सेव कुत्ते बदला हम ना Maybe you shouldn't be talking to me like that. That's what I should have said. I should have just...
I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote. Staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! <sighs> if it's any consolation, Doc, your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick uh, by brick. Uh, Finish uh, it. Uh, uh, Such a good boy. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
it was a huge scandal. One of those whatever things. Doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. No, this is a career diplomat. Oh, yes. An international superstar. She was the Argentinian ambassador to know. Nice suit. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether Brand's neurotoxin. 
Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. এটাই বড় যে খানকিমাগি ছিল সেটা আজকে আমরা বুঝতে পারলাম এবং পরের দিন আমরা আসবো পার্ট সিক্স নিয়ে হয়তো সেটাই এন্ডিং দেখা যাক পরের দিন কী ওয়েট করছে আমাদের জন্য চলো বন্ধুরা ঠ্যাঠ্যা